Hi, it's me, James Lott Jr., and I'm here at the Edgemar Center for the Arts here in Santa Monica, California, and I am so excited because my guest is affecting change in the world. Uh, they're helping every actor be their best and taking her knowledge and sharing with others, which is something that I love very much. Um, like I said, we're at Edgemar Center for the Arts in Santa Monica, California. She does work here in English and Espanol. I like right. that. Esta bien. I like that. Um, now, she's worked with many folks. I could list names a mile long, but I'm just going to name a few people because you know who you are. James Franco, mm -hmm. Seth MacFarlane, Salma Hayek, Zoe Deschanel, Chris Rock, Kate Del Castillo, who I love. Lorena DeSor was my, was my show. <laughs> I did like that one. Uh, she's artistic director and founding director of this great place. So we're going to talk to her and find out more about her. I'm so happy to have her on my show, Miss Michelle Danner. Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank my you. pleasure, my pleasure. How is Kate Del Castillo? I love her. I haven't met her yet. Well, I haven't seen her in a little while, but uh, last time I spoke to her on the phone, which was actually was not too long ago, yeah. uh, she was doing great. She's very creative. She's, She's a very creative, very creative she artist. Yes. Let me ask you something. I guess I want to ask you this because I, you know, I have some little notes and everything on here, but I don't even saw my notes. I want to ask you: Can good acting be taught? Oh, uh, absolutely. Stella Adler, you know. Yeah. An iconic teacher that I studied with said, actors have talent, but then you have to have the talent for the talent. Meaning mm. that you have to have the willingness to learn the craft. And so absolutely it can be taught. So are there people where you see it's raw and you know they have it? Yes. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Now whether they're actually going to have uh, a career because they're going to work hard yeah, or they're going right. to have certain breaks and yeah. they'll get to play certain parts. That remains to be seen, but yeah. absolutely I do see that a lot. The longest, excuse me, the longest you've been doing this, has it become easier to notice the spotlight talent go, yeah, that person has potential, like I can see it, right? And, and the first reading they do or something, you can like tell. Well, you know, I've been teaching for the last, uh, well, I like <laughs> yeah, yeah, say, yeah, yeah, 29 yeah. years. Wow. I always joke that I haven't had Botox yet. She's 30 years old. But she was a year old prodigy you were it's teaching. It's been a while, this. and uh, <laughs> you know, I think I've always had good insight yeah. into, you know, talented folks and people that, you know, were different. Uh, special, except when I say that, my son goes, now when you say special, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't say it like that. Right, right, I don't, we just like, you know what you mean. Um, you also were an actor yourself, so I'm sure you see things from both sides as an actor, producer, you can see both, you can like, oh yeah, that, I can see that. I think it's very helpful when you have a background, you know, and, and you have acted, and you know what acting is, and what is required, and how to, you know, the understanding of how to make choices, how to break things down. Yeah. Um, so absolutely, my, my background as an actress is very helpful and also now because I'm directing films. Yeah. So all of that, you know, goes hand in hand. She's doing a lot of stuff, folks. She's doing stuff. <laughs> She's doing stuff. Her hands are in things. She's doing stuff. Um, so when someone says they want to be an actor, yes. I want to be an actor, and they come to you, what's one of the first things you tell them? Well, you got to study. You gotta learn how to do it. If you came and you said I wanted to be a doctor, right. or I wanted to be a lawyer, <laughs> or I wanted to be a stockbroker, or you know, a nurse, you would have to go to school. Yep. You'd have to learn how to do it. Yeah. And but why do people think sometimes like I was gonna be an actor, I was gonna go on, I was gonna do this and and bypass the acting schooling part of it? Because I don't, you know, it's it's uh, an idea that maybe yeah. it's easy. Yeah. I always say, you know, I go to the bank and. And the teller goes, well, what do you do, you know? And I say, well, I teach acting. And I'm like, oh, yeah, acting. I could do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah, you could if right. you wanted to and right. if you were going to go study and, and learn how to do it. But there is some sort of a, a sense that every, anybody can do it. Because I think that when you watch great acting, it looks easy. It does. It right. looks like people are not acting. Yeah. So then uh, people that are looking at that go, well, maybe I can do that. And, and, and people can. There's a lot of great actors in this world. But, um, and some people, you know, they say, you know, you're natural and you have instincts. But there's also, I think, a deep understanding underneath whether you're self-taught or you go to a conservatory that you know uh, you have skills. The yeah. same way you would have skills in any profession in the world. That makes sense. That totally makes yeah. sense. Um, I, always say, I always say that when I go into some kind of, I've had many professions, 
I try to actually go to school or learn the profession from the inside out. So I have a better understanding of the profession. I did try acting for a little bit. Uh-huh, and how did that go? Um, I did a few things. And they're fun. I have a movie coming out, actually. Um, Congratulations. Thank you, with Vivica Fox. Uh, second chance at, at Christmas. That's great. Um, I have more respect for actors than I ever did because I found for me, yeah, I was competent. I could do it. But you're right. If I was going to do it full time, I would, I would take that take from her. <laughs> yeah, I did that. Well, thank you. But no, I mean, I see, I really did the few, I did an episode of House like 12 years ago. I did a few things here and there. And it's not, to me, it's not easy. It's, it's actually harder to go in and not have training and think you can do it. I think to me, it's like much harder. Well, yeah, I mean, I think training is everything. And, but once you have training, then still it requires courage to do it. You yeah. still have to be courageous. It's, you know, yeah. it's very brave to step in front of the camera, to step on stage. Um, but, um, but I think that you can really have fun. Everybody, I'm, all the classes I've ever taken, when I was, you know, studying acting, all the teachers, have fun, have fun. I'm like, why do you have fun? <laughs> um, but I think if you have clarity, if you yeah. know what you're doing, then you can let go and then you can be improvisational within the dialogue and then you can have fun. The last movie I did that's coming out, we did that. They were like, okay, now James, have us have some fun. You and the other actor have some fun and we did have a good time. Probably be on blooper stuff, we can't have them on the show. Uh, but, it was, but it was like, because I did know I had like three pages. I was like, oh my God, three pages. Um, and I knew from soap stars, you do 60 pages of dialogue a day. So, I mean, I know what I was, what I was doing was very small. But you're right. Once I mastered the dialogue, kind of, just mastered the scene, it made it easier for me to remember the dialogue and then have fun. Right. So, you're right. It's kind of like this is, there's these steps yeah, to it. Totally. I mean, the time makes sense. I love that time makes sense. Yeah. Um, so, now you do coursework that teaches several different styles. Right? Yes. You know, I, when I studied acting, when I was a, a young girl in New York, and I studied with Stella and I studied New York. With, yes. Love New York. With Herbert Bergdorf. I studied with, you know, Uda Hagen. Oh, wow. I studied with some really great teachers. Yeah. I was lucky. But I really rebelled against the idea of dogma, that there should just be one way, one, you know, technique to, mm -hmm. to follow. So to that, I read and, you know, studied all the different philosophies yeah. in acting and believe that the actor should, uh, you know, embrace what they can, what works for them from each like uh, teachings mm -hmm. and, uh, and put it in their very own toolbox, yes. which is their golden box. Mm -hmm. And to that they add whatever tools they learn when they're on set, when they're on stage, mm -hmm. um, and, and then in life, you know, whatever lessons you learn in life, which we all know, we learn them every day, you know. There, those also go into the golden box. So it's an amalgamation of all those tools. Which method did you relate to, if you had to choose one, maybe you can't, but which one did you relate to more? You know, I mean, I enjoyed working, you know, with Stella Adler and, and working with the idea of the imagination and imagining so many things. I also find it very powerful to use elements of, you know, what happens with you personally. There's a French filmmaker, Francois Truffaut, that had said, the more personal you make it, the more universal it mm, becomes. I, like I really like that a lot. I like that. Um, and so, I, you know, I couldn't tell you, and I think a lot of the Meisner work is so okay. valuable, I couldn't tell you that I have okay. a favorite. I think I really, truly like a lot of I insights from all. I like that, okay. That makes, that's what really makes sense. Uh, now, your father, Opened the first, if I get this right, sorry if I got it right, the first William Morris Agency in Paris? Yeah, he opened, he was the president of the very first office wow. in, I believe, 1964 of Le Champs Elysees in Paris. Wow. He opened the very first William Morris Agency. Wow. What did you learn from him? Oh, uh, you know, I learned from him work ethic. Okay. I learned from him kindness. He was a very kind man, and uh, he wasn't a shark. You know, I see people are divided between sharks and dolphins. Yeah. Yes, there. Yes, there are. Yes. And he was, you know, he was a dolphin. He was always very kind, <laughs> even in business. As I watched other business partners, you know, walk all over him. Sometimes, not always, because yeah, 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 yeah. he was actually a good businessman. Yeah. But he, you know, didn't want to. He was just a very decent human being, and um, and a very good person. And he put his family first, Ooh, okay. even though he worked all the time. I'm sure. So he was constantly traveling everywhere. I mean, I remember oh. a specific, I think it was in eighth grade. It was my first day of school. 
And all of a sudden, he surprised me. The car, this black car comes. Wow. And he goes, I've come to bring you to school. And then he went back to the airport and took a plane back to Tokyo where he was doing some business. Oh my goodness. So he just came in to take me Aww. to school. And, you know, that registers with a child. Yes, it does. You know, a child really feels, you know, loved. Important loved, yeah. Yeah, even though my father traveled yeah. most yeah. of my childhood. That's, ama that's amazing yeah. that he found a way to take time to be important there for you, even though fight for him, he's probably tired, and probably, you know, exhausted the travel. Like, he didn't care. It's like, I could be there for my daughter, and then I could go back to what I was doing. Totally. And he would always call and check in and remember that I had to do that homework or that. And yeah. He was just a wonderful father. To all of us, I have three sisters with four girls. Are they in the business too at all? Um, yeah, I actually work with my sisters. Okay. So one's an entertainment attorney, <laughs> uh, the other one is the managing director. They, oh. well, we all work together. Uh -huh. And so when I make my movies, I enlist you know, all of them Siblings. to come help me. Um, like that, that just adds one other thing to Okay, so what is it like? working with siblings you know sometimes it's great <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. occasionally it's tough yes um because nobody knows you as as well as your sibling and no one knows how to push your buttons <laughs> yeah. there we go yeah. there we go so if somebody's yes. gonna and also but what's great about it is that because nobody really tells you the truth and you know a sibling can tell you the truth and then you can be really angry at them and then you can love them the next yeah. minute because that's what right. happens when you're, you know, related in that way. So. But you're also proving we make it work together, right? Yes, we can definitely. Uh, well. You know, it's funny you would ask me this question right now because with one of my sisters, she's, you know, irritating <laughs> yeah, yeah, me yeah. to no end. <laughs> as we, speak. we won't so, say her name. Just one of the sisters. I have to remind myself that in fact, yes, yeah. we can also, you know. <laughs> Work together. I mean, we've worked together for a long time. Yeah. I've worked with my sisters for like decades. So, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, nothing's perfect, obviously. I mean, nothing's ever perfect. No. So that's fine. But women, I, 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 I all the shows I do, I try to make sure when people say women work together, I want to say they can work together. Yes. Because they try to see you guys can't. Yeah, no, we can. We have. We are. Right. Exactly. Must be an interesting time then now, too, for you um, with these upcoming actresses, actors who are women in, this, in Hollywood now. Because everything's starting to change around. And are you seeing a difference? Um, I think people are taking their power more and are being more um, proactive and looking for projects that they can star in. Oh, yeah. And, um, you know, it's not uh, years ago when um, Kate Blanchett won for Blue Jasmine. The movie was so good. You know, so was, deserving. So deserving. Yeah, and she said, you know, it's, it's uh, that we think that, uh, you know, women's movies are a niche, you know. Well, you know that they can have worldwide appeal. And I think that that's what, you know, people are finding out that right now what's really breaking through is the, the unique and our stories that are really compelling and deep. And, uh, and people don't always want to see the same stuff all over, over and over again. That's so true. Yeah. What made you decide to go from acting and you're producing films and things to actually running a school for acting? Oh, well, it didn't start. It started with me. You know, first I was an actress, right. and then uh, a lot of actors asked me if I would coach them on projects. Oh, so, okay. you know, I found myself, and I remember a distinct moment in my guest house where, <laughs> you know, I had all of these requests for coaching, and then my agent called me with an audition in Pasadena. Okay. And I lived in Santa Monica, and I started to do the thing, and I started to do the math, and I said, all right, so I'm going to drive for 45 minutes and then come back, so the whole day will be gone. And, uh, and here I could help, you know, six actors today. Um, so then I chose to, to work with the actors. So that was a turning point. And, uh, and then from there, uh, opening the school, finding this place. Yeah, yeah. Walking in here in the middle of the night, not knowing anything. And wow. building it. From scratch, folks. From scratch. From scratch. Building a million, uh, raising a million point three wow. in capital campaign. Knew nothing about drywall, electricity, plumbing. <laughs> Even today, as you notice, yes. we have new toilets. There's stuff going on, yes. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. There's just so much going on. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so excited because, you know, I'm working on a one-woman show with Ann Archer. Wow, we love her. I don't know, Archer. Okay. Yeah, yeah wow. it's based on uh, a novel called and, and a play called The Ticket to the Circus. It's uh, okay. uh, Norris Church, the wife of uh, Norman Mailer. So it's oh, a, wow. It's a piece of history, yes. political and literary history. Yes. It's quite wonderful. Wow. And uh, I'm good friends with his uh, youngest son, John Buffalo Mailer. Okay. And, wow, the uh, name. I love it. This wonderful writer, Bonnie, wrote uh, a beautiful one-woman show that we're going to mount. Wow. And... Um, 
there's a, yeah, there's just so much going on. And, and so the, the escalation was the school and then the directing and then the film directing and I'm on my fifth feature, fifth or fifth feature film and wow, I've done documentaries and shorts yeah. is, you know, I just wanted to be the one to sign the painting because when like I'm on that. set of other people's projects, you know, it's, it's great. I mean, I learn a lot, and, but you know, I want to be the one to sign it. If it's the story that I want to tell, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Uh, and I'm happy to be on other people's, you know. Oh, really, of course, it's not saying that. And saying their that. stories. Yeah, it's yeah. not saying that. It's just saying that also you like to helm projects that are close to your heart. That's and right. Things. And now yeah. I have one that I'm working on that is yeah. especially very close to my heart. I wrote a treatment and I had a yeah. wonderful writer write a screenplay based okay. on it. It's called The Runner. Ooh, okay. And uh, yeah, I've The Runner on many different there levels. levels. I'm sure. I'm not even sitting up there. I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, not just The Runner. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. We're going to shoot now in five weeks, so six wow. weeks, yeah. How do you manage it all? Um, well, you know, because you think I'm, I'm doing a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm, I'm a person who does a lot, too. I do a lot. There's a people. lot of people that do a lot. Yeah, no, I People that always you. ask me this, but I think... They ask me the same thing. I look you. at other people's lives and, well, you know, I... You do I it. I make lists. <laughs> oh, okay. See, there you go. I work with a list. Yeah. Lists, plural. Yes. <laughs> um, I have a lot of love around me. I've got two amazing yeah. sons. Yeah. I have dogs that I love. love I have a creative home, both here and home. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I do what I love. I mean, I think that's always the bottom line. Yeah. When you do what you love, you find a way to get it done. That's a soundbite right yeah. there, folks. <laughs> that's a, okay, because I do a lot of things, too, and people always say, well, how do you do it? And I, I'm like, I just do it. And what you just said though was you know, it's beautiful. That's how that's how you that's how you do you know, there you go, you just get it you get it done. Yeah. It's like you have the time in your life, obviously. You're probably just having all these sort of creative things happening. Well, you know, there's moments where I have extraordinary times. Oh, okay. So we have a little uh, ritual now. Today is Halloween and I have my son, yes. this is his last year of high school. He's applying to college oh, and we have a ritual where we go to here in Santa Monica, Montana, and we go oh, okay. trick or treating with everyone. Yes. And now it's like it just feels, you know, a little bit um, His last year of high school. Months. I remember that. My girls I remember that. Yeah, it's, it feels a little but you know, it's it's life. Life yeah. it evolves yeah. and uh, you know, the ships pass and this is yeah. the, you know, one ship. But uh yeah, I mean this is you know, I, yes, I do have you know, a very, very wonderful creative life because, yeah. and, but that's not to be said that there aren't obstacles and trouble. Oh, yeah, no, we know that, we know that. Oh, yeah. You know, there's always stuff. Oh, yeah. Know. yeah. Yeah. Um, lastly, why should people come here to learn from you? Well, they should come here, not only me, but an extraordinary faculty that we have oh, here. Um, they should come because uh, they want training, they want a creative home, they want an acting gym. They want to get a chance to stretch and work on great writing because I always say that's how actors grow by you know working mm. on really good writing that elevates them. They okay. raise the bar in that way. Okay. And everybody's got to go to the gym, and this is the acting gym. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I feel like that. Michelle, tell folks where they can find Edgemar and all this stuff online. You're online. Well, so Edgemar is a cultural art center with the acting studio Michelle Danner. And you can go to michelledanner.com. That has all of the classes, and then the Edgemar Center for the Arts gives you all of the events that are going on here. We also have Cinema at the Edge, an annual uh, boutique film festival, which is quite wonderful. There's some really great movies by really yeah. independent filmmakers. Love it. And uh, parties and Q&As, and the next one is uh, at the end of February. Cool. And so there's the Edgemar Center, and then there is uh, Michelle Danner Acting Studio. And if you want to know a little bit about the movies, there's the All in Films. And also, um, I have to bring this up for a second. This place is bilingual. You do also you do things in Espanol too. Well, yeah, I mean, people, you know, there's. You speak actors. Spanish. I saw, I saw you speak Spanish on the interview. I was like. You have no Espanol, there's actor. <laughs> I speak it actually quite well. I, yeah. I teach, no, you did, I saw it. I teach a class called The Golden Box in South America, in Mexico City, in Europe. I speak five languages, not just, uh, you know, I speak Spanish, Italian, French, French yes. Portuguese, little Portuguese, English. So I speak five languages. Oh, um, but uh, but yes, people are international. You know, whenever right. I travel internationally, uh, I just came back from teaching in Hawaii, which oh, was wow. a treat. When I go and teach internationally, people come from all over the world right. to study here. And of course, you know, we yeah, we all speak Spanish. <laughs> I stop. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Thanks, Michelle, for being Thank on the you. show. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. My pleasure, Michelle. Darren, you guys, Edgemar Center for the Arts. I will post links everywhere on our pages so you can see and go to. If you want no more information. 
about her, her style, or the, 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 the